Auditions are upon us for the roadshow Search for a Star. We caught up with one of our judges, Tony Bristol from 92 Pro FM and Light Rock 105 to get some words of advice on what he'll be looking for at the auditions. I'm looking really at uh, someone's uh, ambition, someone's heart. You can tell when someone's heart is really into it. The top five contestants will go head-to-head -head in challenges showcasing their creativity, ability to produce a story and interviewing skills. Time for some weird news now. And here's a meal that'll break your diet. A bacon cheeseburger donut. That's the newest goodie at the Big E in West Springfield, Massachusetts. It's called the Crazy Burger, which is a bacon cheeseburger between the halves of a honey glazed donut. Don't tell Melissa Rector from Gold's Gym. The treat packs 1,500 calories. Moving on now, today in the road home. It's a Rhode Island tradition. 33 years in the making, Trinity Rep's A Christmas Carol has become a planned holiday event for so many families. And for the last six years, over 1,200 children under the age of 13 have auditioned to become part of the show. And once again, the auditions will take place at Cardi's Furniture Superstores in South Attleboro. For all the information, you can be found by going on to foxprovidence.com. Hi, I'm Shana from The Road Show, and today joining me is Art from Light Rock 105. Art, thank you so much for being here this morning. You're welcome. Now, tell us exactly what you do at Light Rock. I'm the uh, Love Song Show host, for, uh, or the host for a Love Song Show called Night Light, which is on 7 to midnight. It's on during the evening, and it's a show that uh, helps people at the end of the day relax, and they can phone in their requests and dedications. So you play all kinds of different love songs then? And do people call in and tell them love, you, know, you love stories? And? Right, right. Yeah, I usually ask people, you know, what, what they want to say to their sweetheart. And, uh, you know, it's quite romantic. Uh, they talk about how long they've been together and where they've met, um, how they were proposed to. I mean, really oh, nice. That's so nice. Yeah. What's, what's the nicest story that, you, that you've ever heard, if you can remember, just back to one person calling that told you something that really stood out in your mind? Um, I'd say the one that stands out is um, the officer from, military officer from Iraq who called up, American officer. Um, actually, wasn't an officer. Um, but anyway, soldier. He called and, and he was dedicating a song to his wife. He's from Texas. Mm -hmm. She lives in Texas. And they were listening online to the station. And so he called me from Iraq, made that long-distance call, and sent out a song to his, his wife and his, and his family, you know, saying that he missed them. And it was really nice. I still have it. I, still, I saved it. That was real, that's a keeper. You know. oh, that's so nice. You must hear so many wonderful love stories and everything. That it's, it's probably a nice relief, you know, hearing about people going through the hard times and the, the divorce and everything nowadays. So it must be nice to hear the good side of love and all the nice stories and everything like that. Oh, yeah. You know, and, and with the economy the way it is, a lot, of people are, a lot of people are saying that, you know, they've hit on hard times, but still, in spite of the fact, you know, they're there for each other. Well, let me ask you, I, I feel like you're a love expert. What's, what's one thing of advice you can give to our viewers today on how to maintain a, a, a really great relationship? Um, communicate. Communicate. Yeah. Great. Thank you so much for being here. You're Art from Light Rock 105. Back to you.